Hello, my name is Dr. Umesh Srikanta. I am a consultant neurosurgeon and head of spine services at Astra Hospitals, Bangalore. I did my MCH neurosurgery from Nimans followed by a fellowship in minimally invasive spine surgery from South Korea. So today I am going to talk about the recent advances in spine surgery. Spine surgery has a lot, lot of myths surrounding it and the most common myths are that the spine surgeries are usually long incisions, spine surgery usually results in poor outcomes, there is a long period of bed rest that is involved and you know the you know bed, there is a very good chance that the patients may become paralyzed after spine surgery. But nothing can be further from the truth in recent times. Uh, spine surgery has seen a paramount of advances in the last one or two decades and these advances are going to both advances in technology as well as innovations in new techniques that the spine surgery is nowadays being done with. So advances in technology can be usually an intraoperative 3D imaging system where we can actually obtain the complete 3D orientation of a patient's anatomy of the spine during the surgery which is going to help us guide to understand the pathology better and to exactly know what we are dealing with. So apart from this, when this is combined with another, another technological advance like navigation system can basically help us to navigate the patient's anatomy, the patient's spine during the surgery. It can help us track any of the surgical instruments in real time with respect to the patient's anatomy in a surgical field. And this is greatly improves the accuracy of the surgery so that example when we are putting in a screw so the navigation system along with an intraoperative 3d image shows us exactly what is the path or what is the direction that the screw should take which is going to improve the accuracy and decrease the complication rates during the surgery apart from this we also use intraoperative neuromonitoring which basically monitors all the nerves during the surgery because the patient is under general anesthesia and these, these machines give us warnings when there is a undue inadvertent injury to the nerves even without the surgeon's knowledge. So these nerves can be completely monitored and can be preserved from the beginning to the end of the surgery thus making these spine surgeries very very safe. Apart from these technological innovations and technological advances, a lot of advances in the technique also has resulted in making spine surgery better. So one of these is minimally invasive spine surgery. So as you know, minimally invasive spine surgery is a novel method of doing spine surgery through small incisions, through keyhole incisions, through small tubes that is as small as 16 or 18 millimeters in size, due to which the disruption of the muscular architecture is less, important structures of the spine is preserved, and basically all the pathology in the spine, whatever we are dealing with, can be treated as effectively as it was done in a traditional or an open surgery, whether it be for a discectomy, decompression, fusion procedure, whether it be for tumor removal, whether it be for treating an infection or maintaining the stability of the spine. So all these conditions can actually be effectively treated by minimally invasive spine surgery, which also gives a major advantage of decreasing the blood loss decreasing the post-operative pain and also enabling patients to return to work faster. Apart from minimally invasive spine surgery, some surgeries can also be done with an endoscope that is less than a centimeter in diameter, so which helps in preserving all the, virtually all the musculature, all the bony anatomy and the ligaments of the spine due to which the recovery is much much faster and is one of the least invasive methods of doing spine surgery. These endoscopic spine surgeries can be done under local anesthesia sometimes. They can also be done as a daycare procedure on many occasions. So due to these advances, minimally invasive and endoscopic spine surgery, the morbidity of the spine surgery has decreased significantly in the last one or two decades. So combining these two, that is the technological advances and the innovations in the technique, that is intraoperative 3D imaging, navigation and intraoperative neuromonitoring when combined with a minimally invasive spinal techniques or an endoscopic spine techniques usually gives maximum advantages to the patient and improves the spine recovery, improves the spinal surgery outcomes significantly as compared to olden times. So the, due to these technological and advances in the technique, spine surgery nowadays is safe, effective and more accurate than what it was before. So at Aster Hospitals, we have all these facilities. We have an intraoperative 3D imaging system. We have, we have a navigation system and an intraoperative neuromonitoring to effectively monitor or effectively make the surgeries more accurate. 
most of the surgeries, that is nearly 90% of the surgeries at Aster are done by minimally invasive spinal techniques, either tubular retractor assisted or an endoscopic spine surgery. So combining these two, Aster is able to provide much better outcomes to patients with spinal problems. Thank you.